Up next on our KHON2 News, there's an old saying, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Now there's a way for a mortuary to make diamonds with a little more meaning. I have him with me all the time now. It's just, I, I can't tell you how much peace it gives me. A mortuary is an unlikely place to buy diamonds. But as Leslie Wilcox reports, it makes sense when you find out where these particular diamonds come from. Leslie? Joe, they are certified diamonds made from the ashes of dead loved ones. A Moanalua funeral home has become the first dealer in Hawaii to offer this very personal jewelry. Barbara White doesn't have to pick out a diamond from the jewelry case. There's only one, blue in a round, brilliant cut, less than half a carat. I wouldn't care if it was the size of a pinhead. It's beautiful and it's my honey. <laughs> Her honey of 24 years died and was cremated through Moanalua Mortuary. That's where she found out that carbon can be extracted from the ashes and subjected to heat and pressure to create a diamond looking like a natural diamond. They come in yellow, too, in sizes ranging from a quarter carat to almost one carat. Prices range from $2,300 to $5,000. People, they want to do something different, something unusual with the cremated remains, and there's always been many things you can do, you know, scatter in the ocean and so forth and so on. And this is then the, the newest and, and most innovative thing that people do. Think it's a little creepy? The Illinois-based manufacturer Life Gem tries to get you to see it another way. Natural diamonds come from an arbitrary carbon source, foreign, unknown to you. Instead, you can know your diamond is your beloved tutu. Life Gem says 50 one-carat diamonds can be created from one individual. I'm sorry it has to be the way it was, but... I have him with me all the time now. It's just, I, I can't tell you how much peace it gives me. These diamonds are a tougher sell in some mainland communities where the tradition is a coffin burial. In Hawaii, because of our ethnic religious mix and the high cost of land, cremation is the preferred way to go. Joe? <laughs> Sorry, it, just, it, it does kind of creep me out. But. And you know what? A, a lot of people making inquiries are people who want the diamonds to be made of them so they can have their loved ones have that. I thought that was fascinating. I, I just can't imagine, you know, you're in a party setting, oh, that's a lovely diamond. Where'd you get that? Well, it's my former wife. <laughs> you, oh, oh. Uh, excuse me a moment. I got to go over here. I don't know. It just seems weird to me, but a lot of things seem weird to me. Well, Billy Bob Thornton used to wear Angelina Jolie's uh, blood in a vial around his neck. Yeah, but that was Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leslie. Thanks. Interesting, interesting story.